What? <laughs> you ask what it was. That's the phrase. I don't use it. You brought it up. Don't blame me for saying the stuff you're thinking about. Don't think bad stuff. Hi again. My name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller. And today we're doing another haul video from stuff that we picked up at the Goodwill Bins in St. Louis in December. Oh, look y'all. Look at my shirt. Funny story is, I signed up for one of those eBay open online thingies once upon a time and went and watched some of the things that they were doing. And this arrived in the mail. Well, I forgot about it. It was this and a cup and a few other things until I'm cleaning up my death piles and it was buried in a box underneath a shelf. But y'all, this is my 25th year on eBay. So this was their 25th year in whatever year that was, but this is my 25th year on eBay. And then look what it says on the back. Wow. I thought it was funny that I find it the year that is my 25th year. So I'm just going to wear it as if it was made for me. So 25 years of sellers being everything. I, I heard in, mm -hmm. in a chat that eBay's not really removing much in the way of negative feedback anymore. Somebody supposedly got that from the concierge service or something. So I've not heard it personally. But if that's the case, that doesn't sound like sellers are everything. Maybe that's why they celebrated 25 years of sellers being everything. And, and now it's going to be, their mind. now they're going to change their mind and the sellers are nothing. But I've had feedback removed in the last year. Yes, you have. So I, I, I think that's just doom and gloom. And I think there are situations where it is removed. But there was a time when we, those of us that are like top rated plus and top rated, that if you offered the free returns and stuff like that, it pretty much was a given if you had a situation, unless you're just, you had done something dumb that eBay would remove negative feedback, but it isn't that way anymore. It It is harder to remove it, but I'm not sure as to positively say that they won't remove any negative feedback because, I mean, I have had at least one removed in the last year. Yeah, so. and it got to be that way when we were selling on Amazon. If you got negative feedback for a ridiculous reason, all of our stuff was fulfilled by Amazon. And sometimes Amazon would ship it late and then we would get negative feedback and they removed it. But eventually it, it even got difficult for us to get Amazon messing up Take and getting, off. getting mm -hmm. that negative feedback removed from us. So um, what do y'all, y'all having trouble getting negative feedback removed? Yeah. Let us know. Cause I know some people do, we've seen it, but maybe other people are having more success and maybe it depends on the type of situation you're dealing with. Right. Too. And which representative you get. Sometimes that makes all the difference. But I mean, have you guys had a situation where it was warranted and eBay refused? I don't know. I don't know. My thought on it though is if eBay never removes negative feedback, even though it's completely unjustified, then negative feedback becomes Nothing. meaningless. Mm -hmm. So it won't matter how much negative feedback you have. No, and especially if you respond to it. I mean, I've got some neutrals. I just respond to it because it ends up showing the ridiculousness of the buyer. So. Because you would never do anything ridiculous. Well, no, I, I've messed up. I've messed up and I deserved, I deserved what I got. But most of them, you know, it, the fabric is itchy, didn't get removed, you know what I mean? Or they didn't like the feel of the fabric. Whatever. Whatever. Guess where they are? On the blockity block block list. Notice I'm on this side of the camera where you can actually see me. Because I wanted to come over here in the middle of this video. And by in the middle of this video, I mean like three days later so we could record this part. And we actually had Rebel put the same shirt same on, so, shirt. It so it looks like it's the same day. And she took her glasses off, so it really looked like the same day. But we wanted to mention that we have another channel. It's a picking channel. Uh, we have footage from the Goodwill bins where this stuff was picked up in St. Louis back in December. So if you're, if you like watching picking videos, go check that one out. And right now it's mostly the bins videos. Well, only the bins videos. But this summer, as we start going to yard sales and estate sales and stuff like that. We're going to be using that footage also, but we will continue to still do my haul videos when we get back here. So this is just going to be the out and about as we're sourcing. If you watched the first video and on the other channel and didn't like it because 
you didn't care for the fact that there wasn't any voice voiceover. We, on the third video we put out last night, we added some voiceover to, so Rebel could talk about what she was looking at or picking up. It, it's not on every item, but it's on several of the items to give a better feel for what she's picking up and why. All right. Wait. What? And she still threw back most of my stuff from my cart. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because. That's the plan. That's the plan. She's the brains of the, the picking operation when it comes to the plush and the toys. So I grab pretty much everything unless I know it's something she absolutely doesn't want. Like that dog that is at every yard sale and 14 times in the bins. Oh, it has price, laugh and learn. Yes, that puppy. one. Yeah. And I leave that kind of thing. Things I know she doesn't want, I leave. But pretty much every other toy, plush and you know reasonable toys, I pick up, put in the cart so she can sort through it very quickly. Because I don't want to leave something good behind. Right. And then she hurts my feelings. Not really. All right, back to the video. All right, let's do this. Just a couple of smalls right off the bat. Y'all, I pick up a lot of Snoopy, and I just did my what sold this morning, and I sell a lot of Snoopy, so I tend to pick them up. This one is a MetLife. I may put a couple of, of them together. I think I've got one right now that was like one of those candy Snoops, candy box Snoopies, but I may make a small lot out of them. And then rabbits, y'all. I'm selling tons of rabbits, so this is a Russ Flopsy. I bet you there was Flops. Well, who were they? Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail. Wasn't that a series of bunny rabbits? I think so. I just love them. So what you're saying is that all the rabbits should have gone in the holiday bag. Nice. So that you could be listing them now. Nice. All right, the bag's open, so I'm pulling this out. Oh, it's a scarf. Oh, I thought it was for a long wiener dog. No, it's a scarf. Oh, look how cute. Why is it this in the holiday bag, Robert? You said you were the one responsible for sorting. I know. I was. It's probably only going to be bread and butter. This one really doesn't need to be in the holiday bag because we'll have gone through all these bags before Halloween oh, yeah. time comes around. Very soon, hopefully. All right. This says Animal Works is the brand. That's all it says. That really makes it hard to try to find comps of that brand because animal, stuffed animal, works. Anything battery operated, I put works in the title. So it's cute. Probably will list it like $15 or $20. You picked up a couple of these, but I, if these are clean, which this one looks pretty clean. It's got like a little switch right there, but these are Hasbro Softies. Um, this one, of course, is Miss Piggy Muppet Babies, but it was also a specialty with Pampers. It's probably not worth a lot, but I had to grab it. I love this. Let's see who. Mary Meyer. Just kind of flopsy. Love it. What about Mopsy? I know. Now we've got a... What was that one? You just talked about it a while ago. I know. But this is... A fox. I'm hoping, let's say, 15 or so for it. I picked up a lot of Wild Republic. This one has the added benefit of having its paper tags. Probably still bread and butter. All right, now these. I pick up LOL dolls. And I do them in lots. But I don't, I don't pick up a whole lot. Robert grabbed these. And they looked LOL to me, but we Google Lens them, and they are the LOL Surprise Tweens. And I saw really great comps, like solds for, you know, three, four, five of them in 20s and $30. So these are in really nice condition. Don't have shoes for all of them, but I'm planning on probably $30 to $40 I'll list these for. All right, what is this? Kelly toy. Of course, I'm going to grab it. Rottweiler colors. I'm hoping like 12 to 15 for it. It says opened. Somebody dumped the candy out. It is gallery, Christmassy, frog. Probably like 10 bucks or so. 
Oh, this is intriguing. <laughs> Look, somebody's playing poker. It said, ah, uh, winning edge designs. I'm wondering if it is a golf club cover. Pretty sure. That's what it looks like to me. Let's see what the tag says in here. Winning edge. Not saying a whole lot. Oh, fits 460 cc drivers. So yeah, this I'll still use the word puppet, but also add golf club covers. You know, poker. I might cl steer clear of using cigar. Oh, but it uh, it needs a bath. I don't know how I'm gonna deal with that. I probably have to hand wash it. There is something about these fuzzy plush. I just pick them up all the time. This one is Walmart. Is it? Nope. Walgreens. Walmart has a whole series of them also. But anytime I see Walgreens, I'm going to pick it up. I'm hoping $10 to $15 for it. It's picked up some uh, stuff from the bins. Minion. I'll try to make a lot of these. This one is uh, Toy Factory, Prison, something like that on there. Probably still going to be like 10 bucks or so. Pluffies. I pick up lots of them. 2003. The giraffe is just kind of bread and butter also, but I just like picking them up. I don't know. This one needs a good bath. But look, Powerpuff Girls. It is, looks like Toy Factory also. I tell you, I don't care for that brand as far as quality, but it sells and it makes tons of character stuff. I'll still grab it. I'm hoping maybe $15 for it. This is interesting. It's just kind of got, I don't know. Looks like Southwest, Southwest Native American yeah, designs. designs. I'm not seeing a tag anywhere. Don't think it's handmade, but maybe it is. I don't know. I'll see what Google Lens shows me. I'm hoping fifteen to twenty dollars, maybe a little, maybe a little more. I love this, but makes me wonder, you know, what kind of clothes it should have had on. It says hundred percent organically grown cotton. I'm trying to see the. There's a name. Lots of names. It's got three WWs. DSI toys. DSI. Wasn't that DSI are the newer uh, Kitty Kitty Kittens? Yes. And then something T. Kiri and Bonica all are on here for this. I don't know. I'm hoping 15, 20 plus for it. It just seems very unique and well made. <sighs> I didn't. It, it's not bad. But y'all, it's battery operated. Make sure when you're buying these type of toys that you check the limbs to make sure the legs haven't been broken off. This one's moving where these don't. So I have a feeling this is broken, unfortunately. But I'll check and see once I get batteries in it. Another St. Louis Zoo. I've started collecting a little pile over here. I'm coming to realize there's some small ones like this and then there's some larger ones. I think I have a small elephant. I may just go ahead and start that lot already and do an elephant and a tiger. Um, and then as I find others, add them to it if it's appropriate. All right, this is Manhattan Toy. Yes, it is what you see it is. I think there were puppies. I think maybe it's magnetic. I can't tell, but I could be wrong. I've done really well with a different one of these in the past, but I haven't found one in a long time. I'm hoping maybe $15 or so for it. Rabbits. More rabbits. This is Fiesta. It says Standing Natural Bunnies. I think it's adorable. Love the frosted coloring. Probably 
15 or $20 for it. Definitely magnets in there. Is it magnets? Yeah, because two of them had come Hooked. together. Okay, very good. Oh, price tag. All right, this says Repets. Recycled plastic something. It's got a really nice tag. A lot of times when I see cloth tags like this, to me it just seems better quality. But I don't know, it just says Natural Planet Apps. Don't know. Probably bread and butter. I think this is Walmart, right? Yeah. I've sold a couple of these. They have the print in the air. Ear. A lot of the patterns are different, so I would never, if I have one like this, I'll probably end up having a second one, and then I just put a number two at the end of my listing, just so eBay doesn't think I have duplicate listings, um, because the patterns aren't going to be the same, and I want the person buying it to know exactly what the pattern is in the air. I want to still say it was bread and butter. This was laying here. I don't think I've showed you this one yet. But these Monster Jam cars, I've done really well with them so far. Most of them I've been listing like in the $8 to $12 range. But if I get to a point where like I find one that's not worth at least that amount, then I'll, I'll make a lot of them. Look, it is Dakin. It's got the older tag. $19.90. Probably like $12 to $15. Look. Warner Bros. I like that face. Dino. Seems to be in good condition. This is cardboard, so I wouldn't wash anything like that. This one just probably needs a good wipe down, and then I'll let it air dry. But the fact that it also has this is nice. I'm still thinking, because it's Toy Factory, again, um, probably $10 to $15 maybe for it. This isn't something that I normally pick up, but I, anytime I see stuff like this, I'm going to check the date on the box. And this one was 1995 Tyco Industries. And it has the instruction, oh here, instructions and stuff in it. I'm not sure if it's complete. I'm not sure if cars came with it, but we checked comps and there's no solds just right on the 90 days, but I'm going to go in and check Terapeak and I'll also check um, Worth Point. But the listings were about what? 30 to 40 was reasonable. There were some higher. Yeah, my box is kind of messed up. Probably still would be something I'll include just because of the age of the box, but I'll have to wait and see. Sometimes when I have stuff like this, I will list state in the listing that if you're not interested in the box that the item is in, I can give a separate sh uh, shipping quote because, of course, being able to put this stuff into just like a regular box would make the shipping a whole lot cheaper. Um, so that's probably what I'll do with this just in case the person doesn't want the box, but I keep the box as an option. Cookie Monster. Y'all know me. I'm going to pick all of them up. I don't think I have anything listed that's comparable in size. So he, he'll probably get listed like $10 to $15. Look how cute. Now I picked this doll up quite often. I'm going to make sure this is Manhattan Toy, right? Yeah. Yeah, Manhattan Toy. But a lot of the ones that I pick up are like Stella. And she has like yellow hair. I don't know the comps on this one. It's different. And it has its clothes. And it has its diaper. But I'm hoping 15 or so dollars for it. Oh, needs a bath. Needs a bath. But it's Douglas Baby. It's probably still going to be bread and butter if I can get it clean enough to list. I must have laid something on her. Look at her. Let's see. Probably Disney, huh? Just because of the song? Yep. I don't know this doll. Don't know her at all. 
she's got a very sensitive belly. Let me see. Let me see what it's looking like. Yeah, look. That's what's activating her. Her hair is a little messy, but don't know. Hopefully I can find some decent comps to share with you guys. I've been waiting on this. I've got, this one is Biscuit from Bob Evans Farms. I've got gravy sitting over there. I am pretty sure I have a lot of them already listed. So I'm just going to bump the quantity up as long as they're the same size. I think they are the same size. But you guys, I love advertising plush. So I tend to pick most of it up. Monkeys. Look how cute. It's holding a little heart pillow. It is Walmart. Probably going to be like 15 or so. 12, 15, maybe a little more. This actually kind of looks almost terry cloth, but not. What do they call that? Chanel or something like that. Look, Nat and Jules. I am coming to really, really like that brand, but most of it's bread and butter, but just super soft, nice quality, kind of like um, Manhattan Toy and some of the others that I talk about. But look how cute. You better move that doll. She's going to start singing. Loved this. He's holding his little teddy bear. He is battery operated. Fingers crossed that he works. I'm trying to see. Oh, oh. Gaga. Gaga. I love them. I love them. I'm hoping 15-ish for him. Look, here's another Miss Piggy. Now that's two out of the same bag. It's got the Disney Store logo there. I don't know. Looks like something came off of her dress here. Probably some kind of belt. Which is sad. I'm hoping like $12 to $15 for her. Genius babies. Probably will try to get together a baby lot and put this in there. We'll see. Gund says wild thing. I'm not trying to put Sam Kinison back in the video No, again. you're not. We'll get another strike. All right, couple of things and then I'll show you something. I don't know if I should have bought them, but look, Dr. Seuss. I love this and it's full of, here's the blue fish, a red fish. I'm thinking something that doesn't belong in there. Oh, I wonder who she is. Oh, I love finding treasures like this. Yesterday, I opened up a board game, Yahtzee, and found a vintage Lisa Frank pencil. Love when that happens. Oh yeah, red fish, yellow fish, looks like a green fish and a blue fish. I don't know, probably 10 to $12. I think I just sold a clown in my last video I shared with you guys. Here's a little teddy bear clown. Definitely, it says Allen Toy Toy Manufacturer. It needs a bath. I don't know. I'm hoping 20 bucks or so for him. That little fairy was hair amazing. Hair amazing. Probably $7.95 or $9.95. Something like that. Yep. Look, y'all, I did it again. I already showed you the Douglas Bear Banks and Marilyn, oh, Marilyn Monroe Bears. These are from the North American Bear Company. Look, I've had her before. This is Scarlet O'Bara, right? Her dress is faded, which is funny because the last one I had, her dress was faded like this. Like they've sat in a window. And the sun has damaged the dress. But she has her paper tag like the other two I showed you. And then look. This is Rhett Bertler. So I am going to list those two together. They are going to be oversized. Hopefully they'll fit in like my 17 by 12 by 8 box if I really work it. I'm hoping I can fit them in that box. It tends to not bump the price up very much, especially if it's somebody near me. 
I had to get them. I had to. Oh. All right. I like my shirt. Might have to wear it for a few more times. Time to get to work, y'all. Busy, busy here. But you know what? The All the listing that I'm doing, it's paying off definitely. So I encourage you, list, 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 even when you don't feel like it. All right? Bye.